severely been... tested this week. The manager and chairman may be staying for now, but with considerably fewer players. Terry Venables described Jonathan Woodgate as the jewel in the crown. So, with the family silverware sold off, what hope for Leeds, Ridsdale and Venables now? Remember Peter Ridsdale, the sentimental fan? I've got a responsibility initially to the shareholders. Uh, I'm appointed by the board as chairman, um, not by the supporters. Reality Gate crashed the chairman's party. Terry turned up just as the rest were leaving. Leeds gambled on Champions League success and lost. The crippling repayments on a £60 million loan are all that's left of their ambitious plans. The lavish resources available to David O'Leary, long gone. I wasn't the manager, I wasn't the playing squad, and we failed twice to get back in the Champions League. You could argue I did my bit, and you could argue we just missed out on the other bit. What I have the responsibility now of doing is rebalancing the books, and that's what we're doing. Peter Risdell is a very enthusiastic, committed chairman. The great danger is that if you have a fan in the boardroom is that they want success as much as the fan in the stand and they have the wherewithal, the money to actually indulge their romantic view of events. We're 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 the people We're are disowning their chairman. Woodgate's departure the final straw when they thought Fowler would be the last. Money talks. He's supposed to be a fan as well as a chairman, and uh, a fan wouldn't have done it. This is the team that received, the, went to the Champions League semi-finals uh, less than two years ago, and now that, that, that all that money just seems to be squandered. I can only liken him to somebody who several years ago got a credit card limit of £100,000 and went by me now Nichols. The fact of the matter is, we now, for the first time, can see a cash flow where we do not have to start reducing the playing squad and we've got cash in the bank. For Venables, some sizeable assets remain, but the job is not what was promised. The question still lingering over both chairman and manager is to stay or go. Peter's had to do a, a job on one side, me on another, both looking for the same ends for the good of the club. Um, and I understand that, um, but nevertheless, there, there, there's a lot of frustrations involved. If Terry feels I let him down, I think he probably is fair to feel like that, because I probably misled, but not deliberately so. There is a situation here which is uh, a very difficult one, and why should I make a quick decision? I just need a few hours to, to think about the position and what I want to do about it. The players that are still here are the most important ones, and also the supporters. The more I think about it, the more I feel that um, it would be irresponsible to do anything other than, than stay. I don't think you could say that the long-term future of Terry Venables at Leeds is certain, Ali, but surely he's the one person in this that, that can't <coughs> actually be attributed with any blame. Well, I would think so. I think it's safe to say Terry has his hands tied there and he's just got to sit back and see what's happening. But, I mean, we've been saying for years now, Gabby, that you know, football is more than a game, it's big business. And if ever there was any proof of it, it is right now, because it's basically business has taken over and Leeds United need money and they've got to sell these players. And uh, from, the, from the coaches and the manager's point of view, there's nothing he can do about it. It must be a nightmare for him. Peter Ridsdale said now Leeds are in a much better position, they're ready to move forward. Do you think he'd elicit more sympathy from the fans if he came out and said, this is the debt we had, this is what we've now sold, this is where we are? We don't actually know any figures, we only know they've sold £52 million pounds worth of players. We know they've had to sell the players, well, up to a certain point, and I think what the catalyst was obviously the, uh, the big ego trip of spending. That's the money they've got back in. It was a major gamble. It wasn't his money. Um, it was not his personal money. This is the price to be paid. I feel in the <coughs> sale, solely in the sale of Jonathan Woodgate, it wasn't for financial reasons he said that. So why has he sold them? Why has he let them go? It's, it's one of his best players. I think he's, he's doomed the team to, to mediocrity this season. And when you consider two years league, they're now in a position where they can't be expected to fare better than a Southampton, than a Man City. They're in that league and the fans have got to accept it. So is Terry Venables. They can't do anything about it. The thing I can't understand, Barry, is how it can happen in the first place. I think, I think when it comes to management and, and money and finances, surely you've got to look after the club's interest right at the start. They shouldn't be £52 million in debt. You shouldn't let it happen in the first place. 
Well, overall, football, the, the, the financial climate has definitely changed. Um, the tran January transfer window, we expected to see all kinds of activity going on. It was slow to get started. That was deadline day. And overall, Barry, only 39.7 million spent. Yeah, and I think that was to be expected. There's a lot of loan deals going on. And I think probably, if this is why the Leeds PLC have decided to take a massive amount in, in today's market, £9 million for, for one of their prized assets. There's a little bit to and fro, and obviously Newcastle uh, are big spenders. Obviously, Man City have spent a few quid, and uh, Middlesbrough. But at the top, you know, Manchester United and Arsenal, they're happy with what they've got. But from, from Leeds' perspective, money in the bank, how it, just purely the team, forget about the club, the prospects for, for the team in the short term this season is a little bit like doom and gloom. And the supporters, are, they can be crying in the beer, and Terry is distraught. But the disappointing thing is, the frustrating thing is that they cannot do anything about it. Peter Ridgedale and the PLC have decided to make the decisions on behalf of everybody along the way. So however disgruntled they are, they've just got to swallow it. Yeah. And that's what hurts. Okay, time now to start our round of all the midweek premiership action. Kicking off at Anfield for Liverpool against Arsenal. Last night against Gillingham, Tony Gubber reports. Everything at Leeds, it seems, has its bargain price. But with fans relieved that at least manager Terry Venable says he's staying, last night's demonstration was mostly just vocal. Rizdale out, Rizdale out. out. What do you think about what's going on here at Leeds? It's absolutely disgusting. I do. I, it's diabolical. It's, the lies they've told is unbelievable. That's what gets me more than the sales, is the lies they've told. Fans vote with their feet, almost 30,000 braving the cold, many having to queue for tickets. What do you think about Mr. Risdale? I think he may have uh, dreamt the dream. It was a great time two years ago. But we have to get on with what we've got to do now. And I think all the supporters in Leeds want the club to do well. A Gillingham win might have sparked trouble, but they had their own problems with key players missing. We've come up here, uh, we've got a few injuries, but the lads who have come in can do a great job. And uh, yeah, we've got, we've got a chance. The statue of an old Leeds hero was the soapbox for the different points of view. But 100% behind Terry Venables and 100% within the team. Get him out. Come on, support the team tonight, lads. None of this rubbish. Let's support the team. 